Welcome to another episode of Combos Court. We got Esso, we got Clue. Clue, I tried to tell you Brunson was uh, gonna change the team around, man. I tried to tell you this that. This guy, man. I tried to this tell guy, you. He knows how to lie good on camera, man. I like that, man. <laughs> I was probably the only one who liked the, the Brunson trade. Everyone was like, nah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I, 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 I like the Brunson trade. I, I, I was rooting, when, when I heard he was available, I was rooting for him to get traded to the Knicks, bro. I, like, I, I just, I just, I foreseen. Everything that's happening now. I mean, I, maybe not to the level that it is. Like, I didn't know. That's he was what gonna... I'm saying. Did you think he could be the best player on a championship team? He hasn't yeah, done it yes, yet. But yes, I, you I, thought I, that at the time. Yes, I, I like I thought all star level. I didn't know he was going to be a one Brunson though. I mean, I, 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 I seen the maturation from high school, and then what he was doing in college, and then when he was playing in Dallas, like he was playing behind Luca. I seen that. I'm like, yo, if he gets his so own team, is? he's going to be serious. I'm not going to lie. I didn't see it. I was. Pushing pause for Spider Mitchell. A lot of people didn't see I, it though. I, I, that backcourt can wanna... still happen, by the way. No, no, I, no. Don't get me wrong. I, I said the same thing about Spider Mitchell. When I seen Spider Mitchell, you know, saying in college, I thought he was good, and I seen him at Brooklyn's run before he even got in the league. I was like, yo, he this kid gonna be a problem. I went to chat right away. To, we got a basketball chat. I went to chat right away. Like, yo, this kid right here is gonna be all star material. And plus, he's Panamanian. Uh, like oh, the kid, I, I didn't know that. You know what I, I mean? didn't know that. Yeah. It's, all, it's always some favoritism going around. Ain't favorit it is what it is, man. <laughs> Essel was saying that um, Brunson. He wasn't saying he was showing me the post that Brunson now has more playoff points Think than Melo. Yeah, I already, mean, already. I, I heard Richard Jefferson saying that that's the most important, the best Nick in the past twenty years. But I don't know, man. Carmelo might have something to say about that. I mean, listen. At, at, <laughs> at the end of the day, uh, you know, I feel like Carmelo was a different animal. Like you know, what I'm saying. From you know the draft class, you know what I'm saying, coming off the championship, coming into the league, and then he just had the, he just had the hype, you know what I'm saying? Like, but he didn't say best player, he said best Nick. So Carmelo could have had the most tools because he has a lot of tools. He you know he, 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 he was strong, pause. He could shoot the turn around, dribble the rock. But winning is a big factor in becoming the best of what you're doing. You got to win games, bro. Yeah, and I was saying before the recording that. I'd rather play with Brunson than Melo. Like, I just feel why, like- Why you say that though? Because, you know, Melo's ISO score, Brunson game manages, he gets his teammates involved a little bit more, even though he could score as well. But I mean, Melo's more like talented. Like, I think he's all time greater right now, you know? I mean, he's 6'8". He had a different yeah. body structure to that, succeed that, playing and, and basketball. That, and that's a whole other thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, in basketball, Paul, they say size matters. You know, Brunson's not a tall guard, and he's still doing what he do, still scoring 40-plus points in the playoffs, like, game after game after game. And he, and he would have had another 40-point game had he not got a little tweak on his yeah, foot. You're right, bro. Can we talk you know about saying? this, though? I really think it's because, and, I, and I, I talk to people about this, Brunson has two guards that have played with him in college. That 100%. They, that, that, that they know him, and they're cool with deferring to him. They're not competing with him at all. So whether he scores 40 points or he scores 12 points, they're actually cool with it. You know what I'm saying? And I think that helps with the camaraderie. 100%. Helps with going forward with, with um, the winning games, and it puts him in, in, in a position to be able to shoot whenever he wants to. Situation matters. It's also helping Hart and DiVincenzo as well, big I mean, time. I, I mean, but... And imagine having your dad on the bench. At, 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 their, at their defense, DiVincenzo and Hart, that's where they, that's where they come from. Like. You know, Chenzo was playing behind Steph Curry, so it's like they yeah. already used to that. And he wanted that to ring role. with Giannis. Hmm? Right. He's in Milwaukee. He right. wanted to ring with, with Giannis too, so that that means something. Yo, and Josh Hart. used to that role, man. So yeah. it's, it's it's an easy transition for him. You know, I've I've talked a lot. I talk a lot to the Knicks fans because I work with the Knicks YouTube channel, and they're all telling me, um, shouts to Knicks fan TV. They're all telling me the Knicks are better without Br without Randall. I don't know. I've man. been saying that though. I don't. I, I can't. I don't agree with that. You I, know what? I, I thought that they. Let me say one thing. Be... They could be doing this right now if Julius was there, though. They might be having this I much success it. too. Because when it hit a bump in the road, when and everyone's seen it, the world's seen it. When when Brunson took a shot, I think he might have missed, and then you know, Randall, Randall got mad that. and rolled his eyes. That's his personality a little bit. That's a bad personality trait. <laughs> bad personality trait to have. Like, like you're not happy. You're not happy for your teammate. Like, but well, they said Carmelo used to be like that. Nah. Yeah, he wasn't. I've hooped happy. with Melo ten million times. Melo is on the court. It's different though. And he's pickup. smiling, laughing, having fun, bro. It's different. It's different in pickup. Even though he's playing serious, he's smiling, laughing, having fun. He does. He does the same thing in games 
when I went to Nick games. Same, he'd been the same way. So he was always a great teammate. I mean, in my eyes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, pickup's different than the league when you're about to lose a playoff series, though. Melo was laughing and smiling. I walked Melo into the draft on draft day when he got drafted. He was laughing and smiling. He'd always been the same person. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was never, like, basketball, like, competitive, of course. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he got that hunger, of course, but he, he was always having fun with it, man. That was, that was the thing. And, that's, and I feel like with a lot of players... You know what I'm saying? People always get upset because, you know, players go, they get the bag, and then their game is not the same. Like, they was talking about, you know what I'm saying, Tobias Harris. I'm like, yo, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they, like oh, he ain't scoring no points. Like, it happens. You know what I'm saying? It happens. Not like, for $28 I mean, million. Dollars. Dollars. It goes back to what that's... <laughs> but what, goes, you can't, you but can't why, score but, no but, bucket but, for $28 million. But, but it why, goes to what you're saying. Situation matters. Like they put him in all different kinds of roles. Twenty eight million dollars. You gotta score me. You gotta score me double. But what if? What if? You gotta get some what rebounds. If, what if your coach and your team don't put you in position to let's, play well? Let's, let's, I saw him pass up shots in the game. Let's just That's be, fair. Let's, just, that, let's yeah. just be honest. Let's just be honest. Maxi and Embiid were getting a, a a bulk of the passes. The fact. So, as a basketball player who plays basketball, when you're sitting around. And you sit around and you sit around and you sit around. And you're not getting the ball. You're not gonna touch it. You get out, you get out of your zone. Like how you how you supposed to facilitate and be just ready to take a shot after you've been cold. You ain't been getting the ball for three, four, five, six, seven right. possessions. I saw it him happens. passing up shots, bro. He, but he passed up yeah. shots because he's probably not in tune right now with what's going on he was because he wasn't getting the ball. To miss. But it's probably a little bit of both, right? It's situation and him being a little bit flustered at the same time. It's other ways. This is the problem that I, I got with people. It's mad other ways to affect the game. He didn't affect the game in no way. He wasn't getting no boards. He wasn't stopping nobody. He wasn't getting no steals. He wasn't creating. That, that, but that, He's not doing that anything. Was, but, that, but that was never his game in the first place. To get bored? Well, he's nigga, three and D guy. If we in the playoffs, not, not, Josh Hart's role is the is, is is to score ten points, right? He's just a better and, and to play defense. In the playoffs, he's scoring twenty points. You got to do different things yeah, if you're going to get paid. Tobias Harris but it, did not do nothing. Else. But it goes back to your point. Box with, out and get a It goes board. back to your point with the situation. He's playing with his teammates. That helps. Box out and get a board, Tobias. Like, come on, get ten boards. Do something. Play some deep. Do anything. What he if, was doing is letting Maxi get fifty points and let B get forty points. That's what he was doing. And that's why he scored zero. I mean, I'm not saying I, I can't speak for that man. But what I'm saying, what, 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 what I'm saying is, what, I, what I'm saying is that you know what I'm saying. When you're not involved in the game like that, you know, mentally sometimes you check out. Well, well, how do you, well, well, he knows about that for playing ball at, at Chelsea because everybody comes across half and just shoots anyway. You can't get involved in that game. We could save Chelsea for another day, but cool. I wanted to, <laughs> ask, I wanted to ask you about um, OG's impact because I think everybody talks about the defense, and I think that on offense he gives his team effortless buckets. Right? I think this team struggled in the past with mm -hmm. getting easy buckets, and I think he brings that to them. How do you feel about his impact? And do you think they could still go far with him being injured? I, I mean, I think I think he's a well-rounded player, OG man. You know what I'm saying? But um, you know, the hamstring is is is, is tricky, man. Like you know what I'm saying? Like it's true, true. I never really had a bad one, but I heard it's like it comes right back. Yeah, yeah. yeah if he tears it, he's out for the season. Oh, definitely. That's the problem. See, there's there's like just from being you know a hoop a hooper and being injured, I know how to work through these things. You know what I'm saying? Like, but you know, like they listen to the trainers, man. Sometimes and, they, and some of them trainers don't really know. <laughs> Everything he's supposed to do. Get on the trip to the trade, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he gets hurt a lot, too. Think about it. Who gets hit you with alternative Toronto. medicine? He got all He gets the hurt a lot, though. He got hurt in Toronto. It's a fact. When they won the championship, he was hurt last year. He came over to us. He got hurt two or three times this year. He needs to work on his body to stay on the court because he is a game changer. Period. Facts. He plays defense. He doesn't need the ball to score. You don't got to run 100%. plays for him. You Great with Brunson, saying? right? He's he, he, yeah, yeah. He's bored and he's doing board work. He he does the dirty work and makes it look good. Their winning percentage is crazy with him. 25, 20, 24 and five or something like that. I mean, twenty six and five with him in, the, in inside the lineup, and we do need him. But I think we can get past the paces without him. But if we play against the Celtics, it's no way we need him against the Celtics. So you think with OG, you guys think the, they can beat the Celtics in a seven-game series? I think they can beat the Celtics because the Celtics, they, they beat I think the Celtics will beat gagging. themselves. Yeah, exactly. They beat the Celtics. I think you're right, themselves. bro. I think you're right. Yeah. And they coach is kind of whack. I'm not going. I'm not. The analytic guy. Analy likes the he, numbers. He doesn't make. He doesn't make in-game adjustments well. 
And those are scary people. That's like a Doc Rivers. Doc Rivers only can coach one way. Adjustment, he's finished. He yeah. can't make no adjustments. It's no comment. <laughs> you don't have to comment because the record showed it. They had a rookie coach that was 30 and 13. When Doc came, they lost 19 or 20 games. They were under 500. What do you guys think the streets would look like if the Knicks won a championship? Crazy. It might get super crazy out here. Crazy. Yeah, it'll, 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 <laughs> it'll be a riot, man, if the Knicks won a championship. The, man. It, I mean, it's, it's going to be a tough road, though, because even if we do make it to the finals, we got to get past Ant, Ant, Ant Man, who's doing phenomenal. We don't know if Ant Man gets all the way there. You, you got yeah, Shea, yeah. or, or even if Denver comes back, you got Jokic. That's a fact. Whichever three of them teams. You just want three it, three MVPs. Yo, whichever three of them Rare teams. Air. It's, a, it's, it's a hard way to know, go I, I think, and just being honest, I think Brunson should have got the MVP. What? Wow. Oh, for the Come season? on, Clue. Come on, man. I not. think he should, he's in the top five. I think he's only be a first team. I don't know about MVP, though. I, I'm the he number one Knicks MVP. fan sitting here, and I because, don't think Brunson should have got the P. Because, you know, without Brunson playing the way he played all season, the Knicks wouldn't be where they're at. That's true, Period. but SGA. The same His way. team was the best team in the West, and he had crazy numbers. That's true, too. Yeah. Yeah, he had crazy numbers. I mean, this. with availability into consideration, how do you guys feel about Brunson being the best player in the East? I think that's a good talking point. I think Tatum's the best player in the East. I don't know, bro, because, like, if, to Clue's point... And beat if he's healthy. To Clue's point, Brunson could do more with less than Tatum, and I think he's proven that. I think that's a big. That's that's a big. You think? Do, I mean, I mean, I think doing more with less is. is let's a, is, talk is a seriously big thing. about the Celtics lineup, though. Is it really that crazy? Because Drew ain't doing. Drew ain't doing what Drew is supposed to be. Drew looked like he's getting old now. I Brown mean, don't dribble they got, that they well. Got, they got better veteran starters and bench players. That's a fact. Porzingis is literally a unicorn. He's always going. He's to get hurt, hurt right now, but I'm saying he, he's he always was, going to get hurt. No, I don't you're count. right. But during the regular stay season, on the court. but it's a regular season award. He, he don't was stay, there. Yeah, but he don't stay on the court. Derek White. Stay on the court. They should put Derek White on the Olympic team. They need Derek a little guy like tough, him. But he's not. He's not flashy enough for them. Why didn't he? He's no, a because role they guy. like flashy players. That's why Jalen Brunson didn't make it. He's not flashy. Think about it. They like fast ball players. They they like the Kyrie's and they like the Ant, Ant, Ant Man's and the Paul Georges and all that. That's what they like. Who's they? The USA Basketball. The oh, but you need one role guy. Like huh? you need a few role guys with those guys. Yeah, but they want to win. I'm talking about the the guard that you're saying. He's not flashy enough to take the game to the next level. International. Don't you like the They're mix of like stars him. and role guys together? It all depends. I mean, when how many, we win, how many, how many stars do the Knicks have? One, right now. So don't ask me why he shouldn't oh, have he's the MVP. Oh, a star in his role. I'll don't, say that. Don't ask me why he shouldn't have the MVP then. Randall. Randall. Randall, had, Randall was, was there for the 20, regular season. 25, 9, and 5. Chill, bro. You bugging. He was having and they 25. Play, and, 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 and they he playing, be, and they playing better and without five, him. Yo. And they playing better without him. He is a, he is a ball. And they playing better but without you, him. But you know what we need, though? But you know what we need? We need that bruiser to do what he does in order for us to get over the top he's to not the next level. Well, he's not a bruiser to me. You don't think he's a bruiser? No. Who? Randall. No. Yeah, yeah. That's all he does. He's a bruiser, Clue. You bugging, Clue. He's a bully. He's a bruiser. He's a bully. He plays bully ball, Clue. You no. bugging. <laughs> Who's a bruiser? No. Oakley? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Rick Mahorn and Oakley. He's the enforcer. Up, he's the enforcer. O Oak was the enforcer. Shout out to my man Oak. Oak was the enforcer, yeah, shout out to Oakley. baby. Shout out to Oakley. They, yeah. People were scared of him. No one's scared of Julius Randle. Just yeah, so he said something today that went viral. I don't know what he was saying. He was saying some funny stuff. Who, Oakley? Yeah, I forgot he what he said. He said Rick Brunson. I mean, Jalen Brunson is the best New York nick of all time. And then Mark Jackson was like, no, it's oh, Patrick Ewing. I mean, Walt Frazier is up there, too. They right? didn't talk about Walt Clyde. Yeah, they yeah. they didn't talk about Walt Clyde. They were talking about Brunson and Ewing. Yeah, we were talking about this before. Like he got, he just needs more time. But there's a chance for it for sure. You can't even find an authentic Knicks jersey anywhere in the city or online. That's a, that's, that's, a big, that's a big thing. Yeah, oh, word. Yeah, it was all Randall. It's all sold out. You know who I wanted to talk about? Clue and that's all. Kevin Durant, man. What about him? I don't know, man. I just feel like. I didn't think they were going to go that far, but it was a little embarrassing that they got swept. Getting swept is kind of crazy. Do you look at, do, has your basketball opinion changed about Kevin Durant watching him not go that deep in the playoffs since he was with the Warriors? I mean, I don't think my, um, him as a player, no. Like, I, and I always say this and I always feel like, you know, team chemistry is always a big thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, and I feel like 
Fair. You know, I feel like with the Suns, I feel like they had three good players, but it was it was a bad mix. They all played similar, actually. It's like you got to give, you know, book of the ball, get out the way. You get Durant the ball, get out the way. You know what I'm saying? It's like they fired their coach. Bradley Beal, give him the ball, get out the way. Today. They fired, no, but they fired their coach last year. You know what I'm saying? They fired Monty, which they shouldn't have. Chris Paul was gone. Chris Paul was the leader. Chris Paul turned him around. They needed Chris Paul just for Booker, just to be the guy to get the people the ball where they needed. They had DeAndre Ayton going to the finals. Come on now. You need a leader. <laughs> they don't have a leader. And why are we, and I understand, I, I love Kevin Durant, and I know y'all are friends. It's a whole different thing. He's old. Why are people not looking? He's old. He's been hurt. He has not been the same since he's been hurt. Bro. Being a veteran player is not a bad thing. I'm not saying it was a bad thing. I'm talking about being old, able to carry oh, a team. Saying somebody old is... You're that, not that, carrying... That has nothing to do with He's it. He's trying to say it. that. Like, that's, that's, everything that's not a valid to do excuse. with it. That's I think not a valid excuse. It has, everything. it has a whole lot to do with it. One. LeBron is... One. They, they say LeBron, oh, he's still doing he's his not, thing. And he can't check nobody. What? Everybody, he can't check nobody. He only plays help defense. Yo, cut the tape. Cut the tape. He's not checking cut nobody. Tape, man. What he's not stopping about? nobody on defense, what? bro. No, he's not. He's not oh stopping these Jack God. Rabbits running up and down the court. Nobody can stop Jamal Murray. No. Now, now you got Caldwell Pope who was stopping on Denver. He can't do shit with Ant Man. Jamal, Jamal Murray. Ant Man is. He Jamal can't do Murray. Shit with Ant-Man. He do his thing. He get busy. But at the same time, they just play. I was talking about the shot that he hit over Anthony Davis. That was just bad defense, bro. It was just bad defense. How like he as, plays against these as all the time. I play basketball as a defender. I'm not letting, and I always talk about this. When you when you play in defense, you need to play on angles. You're not letting Jamal Murray get all the way to his right. He's a right-handed shooter. The first thing I'm doing is cutting him off at his point where he's trying to go and making him. I'm making him use his left, or you're gonna shoot going left if you're gonna make that shot off of me. Yes. I'm not letting you fade all the way to your favorite spot. You think Anthony some Davis I, 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 I just seen PJ Tucker. Get shot over by Kyrie the same way. Anthony Davis. You gotta force these dudes. Murray? You, you gotta you gotta force these dudes to use their offhand, and then you can take your chances. Do you think there's certain players that you just can't turn off though? You no can't. Mar Murray's offhand is like his In regular general. hand. What? Mar Murray's offhand is like his regular hand. He's dipping with the left. He's passing with the left. His offhand is not that much weaker than his main hand. He can't. So you pull, you pull he can't. his left. A right hand shooter, if we you talk about, left, if we talk about Kyrie, right. if we talk about Kyrie, Kyrie that might be is, different. Kyrie's Kyrie can shoot with his, really shoot with his Kyrie's left. Kyrie's the craziest version Kyrie's of what? Kyrie's running layups, running jump everything. shots with his left. We he does not, everything. He's he does on everything. Jamal Murray's not doing that. You've never Kyrie's seen it. You've never seen it. Ain't nobody else in the league doing running jump shots with the left. A lot of people could do that. No, Kyrie's the most skillful shit. player in basketball, though. A lot of people practice shooting with their left. You'd be surprised. There's a lot of players. They, 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 they might not about, do it in the game. We're talking about hitting a game winning. We're, we're talking about a, hitting a game winning shot running with the left hand. Ain't nobody doing that. Okay, that's cool. That, that's cool that they got done. But you gotta have pause, big balls to do that. Whether you practice it or not, you gotta have big balls because you because you're gonna have to explain if Kyrie would have missed that shot, it, we wouldn't be having a whole nother conversation right now. He would have came on TV and said, I, I practice that shot all the time. I, I mean it's, it's ballsy regardless just to be able to get it up to me, pause, and just put it up in that in that situation to even win the game. But I mean, we you pushing pros to their offhand, like you you pushing Shea to his left, that ain't that ain't gonna stop Shea. Playing pro ball and that's well, going to stop. I say, all I, oh, I, oh. Back in the day, all I said is that all I, all I said is that it would lower the percentage of his chances of making the shot. That's exactly what I said. Did you guys watch the Nuggets versus Timberwolves game two? Yes. They spe- they did something. I don't know. They did something to Rudy speed Murray Gobert. up. No, Rudy Gobert was out. Didn't play. So now they got faster players. But did you notice Jamal Murray was sped up? Yeah. Like everything. Like he because was, they have faster play. Because now you don't got Rudy with Towns. You only got Towns, and you got um, McDaniels running around 6'10", 7-foot wings. Yeah, that, that was part of Lakers' problem. They gave, they gave away a lot of the defensive stoppers. They did. I feel like just their role guys didn't make enough shots, like outside of AD and LeBron. Can I say something about the Lakers? They yeah, don't play can, no so. defense, bro. They rely on AD. They were AD. playing, they they were playing play running no gun. Defense, AD bro. was playing D, though. Yeah, That's yeah. it. Nobody, they rely on AD. Nobody's playing defense, no? LeBron's playing help defense. He's not playing one-on-one defense. He's not. 
Nobody's playing one-on-one -on -one defense, and they need a stopper. They don't have nothing. We were talking also about this. It seems like this is a common thing when it comes to this uh, conversation. We were also talking about this before the recording. Um, next face of the NBA, we got Ant-Man. We got Wemby. I mean, the NBA probably I ain't going to lie. I got, I, got, I got to see some more Anthony Edwards before. I knew he was going to say that. I knew, mean, he's the truth. I knew he was going to say that. Isn't it important to we've project? Seen, we've but seen players do this all the time. If he stays healthy, he's he's different, bro. If 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 if. But that's the only thing. If, that's what if, I'm saying. Do you, do you agree? That's the only thing. If M B stays healthy. No no no. I'm talking about Anthony Edwards. If I'm if, just saying. If, why you got Embiid in there? I'm just saying. I'm just saying though. If Anthony Edwards stay, stays healthy, he's gonna be a superstar. He's he is a superstar, superstar now. now. He's a superstar he's now. now. He's a, he, he's a he, future MVP. He's a superstar of hype. Right now. Come on, Come bro. On. Stop, Clue, man. stop. Clue. He's the best two-way player in basketball. Clue, stop. Who? All right? If, if, if you have, if you have a all another all-star, Carl Anthony Towns, you have a four-time defensive player of the year playing against you, and you're shooting shots, your chance of getting rebounds, you could do a lot of wild shit you have those type of players on your team. It's like 22, bro. Nobody cared about Big Cat like that. Big Cat coming out party was... And Cat knows his role now. He knows he's not shooting the guy. He can't stop nobody down low. And rated Rudy Gobert the worst pro in the league. That's the worst star in the league. That's cool. That's, that's, cool. BS, that's cool, but he's the defense player of the year. Nah, and he's a, he's a Carl Anthony Towns is a three-point a three point champion. Did they look better he's, without he's, Rick he's, Rudy Gobert? He's, he's an all-star. So that right there, off top, spreads the floor. Did they look better without Rudy Gobert? Yes or no? They did, but I think some of that is just throwing the team a different look, right? Like, you're, I got you're you. Kind of, you're, you're, you're game, they wasn't prepared for yeah, that. Yeah, you're game planning for Rudy, and then all of a sudden he's going to have a kid. And that's, he's, fair, yeah. that's fair. That's fair. But, nah, I mean, Rudy's good, though, man. I just, I, I, I just don't understand how you, how you prepare yourself from good play to superstar because you had a little run. Like, Combo's court is over. He Combo's court is over. Like, subscribe. Super thanks.